D'Souza. Yeah. The name is synonymous with women's football in Goa. I remember 1973, correct me, where you all beat the Bengal girls and the Bengal girls sat down and cried. Okay. Okay. And, all, and all the Goa guys enjoyed the 73 scene. 73 was hockey. Yeah. Uh, 72? 72? No, 74? 77. 77. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about your involvement with women's football in particular or hockey or both. I was involved in many sports. Like hockey was the one step before uh, football actually. You know, most of the girls left and went for football because there was no encouragement or whatever. Until then it was hockey. Really? Who started hockey, women's hockey? Women's hockey was, I mean, hockey in those days was big time. And Who? women's hockey... Who was responsible? See, I don't know, but there was an association, I'm sure of that, because I was just a player kind of a thing. I was yeah. playing for a team which was from Girin, but Call I know Aquarius. 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 Yeah, that's how I got to be known and whatever. I learned to play from, from, from the guys coming from Bombay. They used to play with my Bombay, brother. East Africa, hockey was that thing. Yeah, yeah. That we thing. didn't know the we game, didn't know. but we learned it, you know, we learned it. Somehow I was, I liked it and I was quite good at it. And uh, yeah, Redent used to Redento. kind of coach. He's still around, no? Redento He's still, still around. around. He would be coaching us. And we were kind of, you know, self-taught. We would practice for eight days. Believe it or not, we used to frighten most of the big teams. Bombay used to be scared of us. Maharashtra, Punjab. Goan girls are tough in that sense. Because we, they, don't we have, they don't have curbs on their growth. Cycling and all that. Absolutely no? no, but many of the girls were from Africa also. I see. So yeah, yeah. So they knew the game. I knew the game through my brother and his friends. So you know, we were just natural in our game. Do you have any photos of those times? Oh yes. I must come in. We national in Goa. That's where I'm, I think you're making mistake. Seventy-two, the nationals was in Goa, and we made it to the quarterfinals. By the way, you know, and uh, many times we have defeated good teams. You know. Whatever, but it was good. And, and yeah, football, football came football? after that. It came after that, who, basically. Who was responsible for uh, women's football in Goa? I don't think anyone was responsible. The girls themselves were. Because uh, I heard that women's football had started. And I used to play with my brother. I knew the game very well. But, of course, there was no women's football. No? And when it started in India, I said, wow, you know, it has started in India. But then Kanduli started the team and the Clara Fernandes. And when they started then I said, why not we have? So I, you know, got my girls because we had very good athletes in the school. All of them were Little plus, little plus. Yeah. By the end of the day, I tell you, we had most of the girls from Kalanghut in the Goa side. I see. Yeah, yeah. In the first national, there were nine, eleven girls actually from Kalanghut. Wow. Uh, wow, one village, first, one village. Yes. Eleven, uh, nine were playing in the first Blame league. it on the football, on the beaches, football on the yes, beaches. Absolutely, absolutely. Because I went to the beach with the girls. I said, come, let me show you, you know, a few tricks. And like, we didn't want to go to the main place. So I went to the, to, beach. on the beach side and I was teaching them. And then the boys were passing. And they said, what are you all doing here? Come to the ground. We'll take care and we'll start, you know, coaching you all. So that's how we went. And the village was completely behind us. We used to get our kit from all really? the guys. Yeah. Bahrain return guys, they yeah. were the ones who gave us the kit and the backing was like total. Yolanda, who are the names you remember of those days? Footballers, women? So many. From my team itself, there are so many. Tell. You know, uh, there was Helen who represented India also. There was Filumina who was the goalkeeper. There was Ishwarasa who was in the first 11 of the Indian uh, goal side. Rajani. I mean, we were eight in the first 11. Wow. And presenting India, yeah, there was um, uh, Helen, but after one year she got married and you know, that was normally what would happen. And Rekha was there, again she got Rekha, married. Kalang, Rekha, what? Kalang, 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 she was Kamath, she played after getting married. Name is familiar, name is familiar. Karapurkar. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kamath Karapurkar, she was Kamath. Okay. But she played after. Kalangur? No, no, she, she played for Kalangur okay. afterwards, but she was playing for... Pen Ken, that's Panjim and Kandani. I see. Because there was a tiff between the two villages, you know. They brought her and one match we lost. So they said, you brought an outside player. <laughs> so they were forced to make Pen Ken. Change but the name. Yeah, Change yeah. The name of the Panjim, team. Kandani. <laughs> and that hockey, was the last time hockey who were the players, Yolanda? You remember? Anna Figuera was there. Fats, 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 Fatima from, uh, from uh, Saligaon. Fatima, Fatima D'Souza. D'Souza. 
Yeah, Sandra was there. Sandra from Saligaon? Yeah, 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 yeah. All these Africa They're, girls, East Africa? All of them, Lillian. We meet every year. This year we are going to meet in February. All the girls are, are coming down from Canada, whoever is there. You know, wow. And we should, we there. should put together some oral history at least. Yes. Or what they remember. Absolutely. So, so the ending we is meet, a bit... We meet, so, sorry. We meet every, every, every year we meet. Amazing, Fact, yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So this year there will be girls coming from Canada. Really? Wherever, yeah. Which one? Uh, from December. Canada, there are three sisters who are coming. One of them used to play for Uganda. So she was much senior to us. So Lutz and Melinda. And uh, the other one is uh, Asmi. They will be coming. And girls from Canada, Clara Fernandez, who is also a football player. Lutz and her sister Melinda. And then who else? I think these are the guys coming from out and most of the rest are here. Like Jasmine, you know. Names Brian, are very familiar. Yeah, yeah, you might not know. Jasmine and Brian, they've all sports people. Juliana. Juliana. She was also a hockey player. We were basically hockey players who moved to know, football. Yeah, yeah, because of the backing. Change of religion. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Not but that we were not doing good in hockey. We I were, see. In fact I was selected for the Indian side. Wow. But there was a we were supposed to go to Soviet Union. Russia, uh, Soviet Union yeah. at that time. And we didn't have good relations at so the last moment they dropped out. But Loretta represented. You learned about have been finally, how did it break down? Why did it, uh, can we stop? The hockey team? Hockey and football uh, both. Uh, no, no, football didn't break down. The Indian team broke down, that's the point. Goa, it, it's not, but it's not as See, strong as it once was, so. Forget about Goa, India is just coming up. They I were see. completely down. I mean, we were in the World Cup, we were playing and beating very good uh, foreign team. I see. We had, our slate was super. And after that, the FIFA took over, the men took over, and then there was a breakdown. And that's why India football and in Goa completely dropped. Obviously, if Indian football okay. drops, then there's the no rest, competition. The rest drops because some remain with them, some remain here. There was a team that went all the way to Sweden. That was after I left, and they were not allowed to play. Oh God! Because they were not recognized. Oh God! But it was these people who started the women's football in India who were actually responsible to have uh, such a good team as we had. The Indian team was formidable. Even today, I think what would happen if we played with the now team? Yeah. You know, we never had the kind of, uh, not backing, we had enough of backing. And that's why we were good. We were given Competition? Uh, challenge to go. No, nowadays, you know, you have a lot of, uh, you know, people who are behind the team, you know, to see that you're physically fit, you have doctors, you have physiotherapists, you have this, you have that, you have regular practices. With us, it was not like that. It was two months before you went or whatever. But they gave us more chances to kind of represent the country. You think and that's why we were as good as we were. You think it's possible to revive it to that level? Yes, absolutely, and the Indian team now is very impressive, very impressive. Football? Uh, yeah, yeah, women's football, I think they will make it to the World Cup faster than the guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what needs to be done in Goa in that sense? I, I do not know, maybe they don't have enough of football. But it's very funny that Bengal and Goa used to be the best two teams. Yeah. Now, both of them don't have a single player in the, in the national, national. Who dominates? Huh? Who, who dominates? Manipur. Manipur. Uh, North East. They were very good even then, but we used to beat them. I see. You know. But, uh, yeah, they are dominant. Very interesting. North East, yeah. heavily dominant. Thank you so much. Even with the guys, huh? Not uh, yeah, of course. Even with the guys. Because they physically, they have a physique that's natural, you know. So it takes a little for them to... To, 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 to achieve much. Yeah, yeah. Because physically in football, you've got to be 110% fit. You can do all your juggling and whatever, but if you have no fitness... You uh, can't yeah, sustain, you can't survive. You, you yeah. can't do anything, you can't do anything. Thanks so much yeah. for that download from memory. <laughs> One day you must share your photos with us. Absolutely, my pleasure.